It's one of the exciting things that happened yesterday and was a brilliant omen. After leaving uh, Dundee uh, and getting the vehicle checked over once again, we got to Perth and we pulled up to meet our co-driver, uh, David Grant, in his car, right in an obscure part of the park and ride, and who should pop out but one of the leading campaigners, Dennis Calavan, with his two nephews, uh, which was a great surprise both to him and to me. And so we did a mini interview with him as well, and it felt like an excellent omen. And from there on in, couldn't help smiling all the way up the road, because what a coincidence. Uh, he was off to Ullapool and we were coming up to Fort William. This is Dennis Carvin, former MP. Hello. And former Hi. Labour MP, and uh, is one of the leading faces, leading lights, I would say. Uh, leading lights? Well, leading lights. I, I chair the advisory board of the Yes Scotland campaign. Yes. But, uh, uh, Blair Jenkins is the chief executive. But, uh, uh, you know, we're a broad-based uh, campaign consisting of people of different political backgrounds and people of no political party persuasion mm. at all. And uh, um, we get on great together. What unites us is the belief that with independence we can be a better Scotland, a more prosperous Scotland, uh, and a Scotland that will play its full part in the international community yeah. to help to build a, a better world. That's yeah. what it's all about. Well, you know, we were, we were interviewing Brian today and one of the things he came out with was the whole thing about Self-confidence. Yes. Who are we? Yeah. And uh, we've done so much for the world, uh -huh. yet we haven't done it for ourselves yet in some way. You know, like uh -huh. what we did for America and its own independence and all the rest of it. Uh -huh. He was really talking through the historical stuff and he said today, you know, and now it's our turn to do it for ourselves. Uh -huh. And so that sense of confidence and identity is not about where you're born, but ideas uh -huh. and ideals. Uh -huh. and so it's fantastic uh -huh. to hear that as well. So. Indeed. Well, uh, we were in Kirkcaldy earlier on today. Uh, I did an interview uh, there for uh, ITN. Uh, it might appear in the news tonight, <laughs> a, a very, a very censored, abridged oh, version, yes, no doubt. Uh, but uh, I, no, maybe I was subliminal. <laughs> <laughs> I was explaining to them my, my own background, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, they, they were talking about Gordon Brown being a fifer and all that, and I said, well, uh, I, I am also a fifer. I was born. As am I. I, I, I was uh, born and brought up in Cowden. In fact, my granddad was one of the founding members of the first branch of the Labour Party in Fife. Oh really? Yeah, but that Labour Party no longer exists sadly, you know, I think they kind of lost their way, they lost their soul when Blair took over. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, But I, I really feel sincerely that if Scotland was an independent country, uh, we'd have an independent Scottish Labour Party and instead of looking over their shoulders all the time to see what the bosses at Westminster think, yes, yes. Uh, they would have to respond to the wishes and the needs and the aspirations of the people of Scotland and that would make it much healthier, I think. I think this is a great idea, it's a very, very visible presence uh, and, uh, and the title, the spirit of independence, I like that, you know, the spirit of freedom, the spirit of uh, yeah. uh, independence and uh, uh, I think if we get across positive messages like that, uh, uh, we're going to win a, a famous and historic victory. So Great. Keep I it up. It up. Fantastic. All the best. A real pleasure <laughs> meeting you. What a chance. Okay. What a chance. They're going to ask the people, is independence best? I'm thinking born in Scotland, but the answer could be yes. Yeah.